in the in the so that part is blank yes it is and it's blank on both yes my lords it is and I, i'm going to show you a number of other things other exhibits which have uh, that sort of blankness but i just want to go back to the back side of the two sheets now, can you confirm that the polling agent of your party signed both pink sheets? Can you confirm well, that? Well, the name that is representing the polling agent of my party, the name has a signature attached. I can't confirm if he was actually the one who signed, but I, there's a name with a signature. And for both sheets, you have voting without biometric verification. That is the issue. But you would agree that if that person, if, if that person who signed was in the first constituency, he could not at the same time have been in the other constituency. I, I agree, and this is what I answered my lords earlier on, that this would be an anomaly. Uh, but regardless, the two pink sheets show voting without biometric verification in both polling stations. That is what I'm coming to, so I, I like your anticipatory spirit. Look at C3, that is where the voting in respect of uh, the biometric issue comes, isn't it? C3. Yes, my lord. the sheet, okay? And just take one at a time and read what's there and... For the Lesby primary polling station, the number of people who voted without biometric verification I think it's 365. And for the Asampan Naye Koko Shed, the number of people who voted without biometric verification is 37. Okay. Now, you see, you have read those entries in the pink sheet to mean the number of people who voted without biometric verification. That, that is how you have read it. So, is, yes. is that correct? That's how you read the it. The question is, what is no, the no, number of ballots you, issued? You, you, Dr. Baumia, you know, you just answered the question, and I want to be clear in my mind before I move on to the next question. You have just interpreted that part of the pink sheet, C3, as indicating those who voted without biometric verification. That's correct. That's how you've interpreted it. Now, just read the question or the, the statement that is made against C3. Can you read C3, that? C3, my lords, reads, what is the number of ballots issued to voters verified by the use of Form 1C, but not by the use of the biometric verification device? Now, that question doesn't mean what you said. That question says, what is the number of voters verified by Form 1C? Is that not correct? But not by the biometric verification device. So that question is really about those in respect of whom a Form 1C has been used. Is that not correct? but not by the biometric verification device. But in respect of whom Form 1C has been used? Yes, but not now, by the bi now, biometric see, so verification. So, Dr. Baumia, you acknowledge that Form 1C provides a legal authority in respect of some... You acknowledge that. You acknowledge I, that. I, 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 uh, I, I, you acknowledge that in your evidence, in, under cross-examination, you acknowledge that Form 1C is used in respect of people, on, in respect of whom FO or something is written. You acknowledge yeah. that, didn't you? Well, what I said was that if you are allowed to vote essentially with your voter's ID card and not with fingerprint verification, 
then that information will be entered in C3. What I'm putting to you, Dr. Baumia, is that C3, as on the pink sheet, is about those in respect of whom Form 1C has been issued. That's what, that's the information in C3. Those in respect of whom Form 1C has been issued to verify their authority to vote. Form 1C is issued to every voter. Every voter has a voter's ID card. It's issued to every voter. Dr. Baumia, you are simply wrong. Form 1C, and please give him Form 1C again, because this is really rather important, yeah. and you're just misleading the court. Form 1C is not given to every voter, Dr. Baumia. Please. The cap form 1C captures voter in it's a captured voter information form. It's a cap it's titled Captured Voter Information Form. For all voters, you have a Form 1C. If you go to register, every voter fills in the Form 1C. The bottom is lami cut off, laminated, and given to you as your voter's ID card. You see, every Dr. voter Dr. has Dr. that Form 1C. Dr. Dr. Baumia, uh, now you're taking us outside the pink sheet. You see, you're, yes, you're taking us outside the pink sheet. And, my Lord, this... I mean, is the court very counselor? My lords have, you know, raised issues about what is happening in this court, and I, I don't understand it. Uh, well, For, very well, my lord, I'll continue. Yeah. From 1C, I'm putting it to you. From 1C, is issued in respect of those authorized to vote without their finger having to be put through the verification device. I'm that's not correct at all. That's, that's very, wrong. very wrong. And I'm putting it to you further. Dr. Baumia, are you now saying that Form 1C is each voter's ID? Are you now saying that? Uh, my Lord, it's captured voter information, Form 1C, and every voter fills in this form. Every re person who registers fills in this form biometrically. You see at the bottom, um, the, 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 line, the line here, disability, the line with disability, is, is that, do you see that line? Yes. Is that the line which would show um, if, if, if there is a disability? It, like it, it is. Uh, if you don't have a disability, it doesn't have to be marked. Okay. Yeah. And so if... A presiding officer, uh, a presiding officer at a polling station such as the ones that you have, if he, you're saying that if he reads the issue in C3 as being a statement of those who voted without biometric uh, verification but who are authorized to vote, you say that he got it wrong. If that is no. how interpreted it, you, you no, would say No, I sorry. think if you are authorized to vote without biometric verification, that information should be captured in C3. I, I, I would agree with you. The second respondent says nobody voted without biometric verification. Yes, but I... And, 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 and 
the information we have is 535,000 people voted without biometric verification. The, another stage they say is transposition error. Yes, you know, so Dr. it's just Baumier, difficult. You see, Dr. Baumier, you are saying that if somebody voted without the biometric verification device, and he was entitled to vote, that would have to be entered in C3. Uh, oh, I agree. You're saying that? I agree. That, that should be entered in C3. It should be entered in no. C3. No. So on the face of the pink sheet, if you see a number in C3, how are you able to determine whether it is people who were authorized to vote without the device or people who are not authorized to vote? How would you determine that? My lords, we have a list of the polling stations, these 3,196 polling stations that were in uh, the register. By polling station and the number of people, FO voters at each polling station. So all, for all 3,196, you can see what the potential voters for each polling station is. And you compare that with each, and really, for the most part, none of them exceeds two. Some will be four, but it's one or two. This is generally uh, what you see, and you compare that to see if more people voted than what were potentially allowed to vote and then you you will then make a, a determination that that you have more voting than we're legally allowed to vote without verification this is how we we go about doing it dr baumia i want you to appreciate the seriousness of what you just said in answer because you seem to be saying that through going i mean by going through these registers you could tell where somebody who doesn't have a finger you could tell where that person was voting is that what you're saying oh, but by and large you can see how many people on that particular at that particular polling station the information is there are allowed to vote without going through voter verification in terms of fingerprint. You're saying that you can see how many people are allowed to vote. And so are you saying that when you see a bigger number than that, you questioned it? Is that, is that, is that the process that you used? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think in general, if you have one person alone or nobody for that matter, has, who is allowed to vote without verification, and you see 300 people voted without verification, then it's a problem. So basically, you really cannot tell just from that number whether that number of people were authorized or not. You cannot tell just from that number. You can tell by comparing it with the register. So. Let's give you another example, because this is really rather important. Let's show you exhibit MBD62, and I'll, I'll, I'll come back to the other exhibit, but I just want to show it to you because of your answer. Exhibit MBD62, the polling station is Community Center, Aliheli Polling Station. And the code there is E251205. E251205. Exhibit MBD62. That is, I'm sorry, Community Center Ali Heli, A L I H E L I. No, give it, give it, give it. Code number. And the code is E251205. E251205. Yes. 
Just give it to him. It's an exhibit in evidence. Just give it to him. Just give it to him. I'm asking you to give it to him. Give it to the witness. This is an exhibit, right? It's an exhibit that has been tended, attached Lord, to your... We need to satisfy ourselves that it is our exhibit. Is that your exhibit? One of the things you attached? Yes, my lord. Exhibit number MBD 62. And can you look at what's in C3 on that exhibit? C3 is one. One. Would you agree with me that that means one person was authorized to vote without his finger going through the biometric verification device? Definitely not. It means one person voted without going through the biometric verification device. And how would you know from just looking at the pink sheet whether that one person was authorized to vote without the biometric verification device? How would you know? Well, if you look at the voters' register, for Eastern Region, we do not have any FOs, for example. And that means that one person could not have been authorized to vote without biometric verification. Yeah, but that information you're just giving us is not on the face of the pink sheet. Would you agree no. with that? Yeah, it's not on the face of the pink sheet. It's actually. not on the face of the pink sheet. Yeah, I, yeah, very I well, very well. Have a look at this other one also. Exhibit MBD 64. Can you look at what C3 has in that sheet, please? I think it's one. It's one. Yeah. And I'm suggesting to you that on the face of that pink sheet, you cannot say whether that one person was legally authorized to vote without his finger being passed through the verification device. Would you agree with me on the face of that pink sheet? Yeah, you, you just uh, the information. Yes, I agree with you. Yeah. You would agree with me. Yeah. And yet, 
Just read the, 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 the votes tally at the bottom. Just read the votes tally. 95. Um, perhaps candidate by candidate. Okay. Uh, John Dramani Mahama, 87. Henry Lati, 0. Anako Fuado, 6. Pakwe Sindum, 0. Kwesio DK, 0. Hassan Ayaraga, 0. Michael Abuk Zakara, Foster, 0. Jacob Osei, your boy.